All right, well, I guess this is your lucky day because my camera failed, so I'm using the iPhone so you get better, clearer images for what I just got in the mail today. It came in something ridiculous after 4 o'clock. I don't remember exactly, but I think when I went off to church this evening, it uh, turns out that, oh my gosh, there's stuff in the box. Can't believe it. So without further ado, I'll show you the first thing here is a postcard here. And this is just a random one I found in the Goodwill bins. And I had to use it because it already had 13 cents on it. There's no sense in wasting 13 cents. So there is that one there. This is, I believe, Oakley, California. There's something else on there, but I can't read it because it's all blurry. So I'm not really sure, but I think there's something that says Oakley, California. There is that one and that particular postcard. Um, I'm doing this in response to... Um, People getting cheated on boxes just to show you for like less than the price of a hobby box or the approximate value of a hobby box. I'm sorry, a um, blaster box because the Olympic blaster box is around 25 and a hobby box is somewhere close to 100 in, in that particular vicinity. So this was $32 and I had it down here $32.58 I believe for all of this here. So without further ado, and there's some Star Wars cards mixed in here, not very many. So we'll start off with, um, let's see where we can start off here. We're going to start off with this one here, and this is from the 2012, oh shoot, I've forgotten already. Uh, 2018, this is 2018 Winter Olympics, this is Jessica Smith. And Jessica Smith here, I'll try to focus this better here in the center here. And this is numbered out of 87 out of 99. That was probably not even a dollar for that one. I had to take that one there. Any Olympic cards are less than a dollar, I try to try to grab those that are numbered. Then we have um, Jamie uh, Grubel Poser. And then let's see, get this. Uh, some of these I've taken. And this is, again, another numbered. This is like 30 out of 99. And then there's Jamie Grubel Poser right there. So there is that one there. Nice looking card there. Um, some of these don't have any foil on it. I just realized these old only in foil was in the numbering right there. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, we'll just throw a Star Wars card in the mix here. This is Boba Fett attacks the speeder bike gang. And this was probably not even a dollar. And this was uh, Tops Now. I think maybe it was right on the dollar benchmark there. I could have got a few more of those. I don't remember how many, like 3,000 plus cards maybe. I don't really remember. The Gathering Storm Boba Fett partners with Fennec Shand. So one of my first, if not my first, tops now, like right in the corner there, um, Star Wars cards. I did not realize they did those. There is one card that's kind of expensive here, but anyway, Maggie Steffens, Water Polo. I either had that one or um, it's a replacement um, for um, one that I sent out. 193 out of 299. I think that was probably a dollar 25 for that one. These are all approximate prices. We have Bit Brittany Bow because I did not have the bronze. These are probably just set build cards here. Jeremy Wagner, uh, bronze. Again, I'll have to double check and make sure these are not for TTM. Evan Strong, and I may already have Evan Strong, but he had an orange stripe there, so I wanted to get that one for a dollar. This is from the 2014 set. That's uh, a uh, relic card. It says, congratulations, this card only sells for a dollar on ComC. No, it does not say that. Um, here's Keegan Randall. I thought I had Keegan Randall, but maybe it was a different parallel that I had. I don't know, um, but it's a red relic. Some of these ones that had different color relics you don't see very often I grabbed. You always have to double check and make sure these are really the relics that belong to them. This is um, uh, Kendall Ozzel. So remember... I don't remember if he was the guy, we intercepted no transmissions. We No, I don't think it was that guy. I'm not sure. But I don't remember. Admiral Ozzel, I think he died in one of the, uh, it was either the first one or Empire. I don't really remember. Really nice card. This is numbered out of 199 I want to say it was a dollar for that one. So there is that one right there. Then we have Emily Cook, silver parallel there. Again, I don't remember if that was for TTM or just keeping purposes. From the recent set, Monica Askamit, and this is number 299. People wanted off a lot for some of these numbers, and, and all those other numbered ones were only to 99 or 199. 300, number to 300 is just asking for um, a lot of uh, complaints. Um, that's the card we'll keep for later in a second here. Um, I think the most expensive card was 10 or 12. No, uh, actually, no. It would have been like something like 10, 12 or $15 on eBay, but I think I got it for 7 or 8 I think that's the most expensive card here. 
Now we have some other relic cards, and if I can get, oh, they've taped this here. Uh, the envelope that they used had this, um, oh, I ripped it, but I've never seen it before. I've never seen that, oh, here it is. It was UPS, uh, USPS Ground Advantage. I think that's a label I have not seen before. That's through Pitney Bowes. So they're doing something there through ComC. Uh, now let's get this out of here. Uh, there's no top loaders in this one. At least I didn't see any top loaders, and maybe they're cutting back on the top loaders. Okay, well, I'm almost done here. Can you believe it? Small order. Uh, these are all relics, every single one of them. These were in the $1 and $2 range here. This is Matt Grievers. Um, looks like the top loader. They're using different... Um, oh, they're using different supplies or something. I don't know how you can even take the plastic off this one. This is actually stuck to the, the uh, there's some moisture in there, it's stuck there. This is Matt Grievers number to 75, a relic card here. It is really stuck on here. I don't know what I'm gonna do to get that, as I wanted to see if I can remove that plastic and there we go, and show you there. It was stuck to the cheap plastic there, but there's Matt Grevers or Matt Grievers there, a relic card, and it's, as I said, it's number, looks like 68 out of 75, I can't really, Hope I can, you're seeing all this because it's really difficult to view through this particular camera. Then we have another one here. Again, Topps quality is not the way it used to be. But I'm having difficulty with some of these new uh, supplies that ComC is using. A little bit different penny sleeves, different supplier. Um, this is Matt Grievers again. So we have the matte and the matte. We have a blue and a red. Um, so there's that one there. This Matt Grievers is a previous one here. Uh, the number to 75 was from 20, 2016, and uh, they're both they're almost the exact same thickness there. Why they needed to be so thick, I don't know. Now I have to go and find a whole bunch of supplies for those. Those don't even fit in my pages. I don't know what Tops is thinking there. Then we have another one here. I'll try to get this out of here. This is Brady Ellison from the recent 21-22 set here. There's Brady Ellison. I have his basic cards. I don't think I have cards... I'm not sure. I think I have cards out to him. But, you know, unfortunately, as bad as it is, I sent out a whole pile of cards now getting close to six months ago, it looks like, um, and nothing has come back from my Olympic cards. It was just pretty bad. Um, we got three more cards here. Boy, this is a small Comsi order. Um, this is Brady Ellison again. Oops, I thought there was something on there. And I'll show you the two different ones here. So this is a blue relic right here, and this is a red and white one. I thought I might as well grab that. I have no idea what that was. I really wish Tops and their infinite wisdom, if they're just going to do these fake relic type things here, they, they at least should show me what they have sliced to ribbons. You know, because red and white, it would be nice to know what that used to be. It really would. But there's no point in even asking Tops. Hey, Tops, what did this used to be? I don't know. And then this one here is Kenry jo Kerry Jones, uh, bobsled, and this is a really cheap one here. This was numbered 76 out of 99, and again, it was probably in that dollar uh, from 2018. So there is this one, Kerry Jones. So there's that one in a different top load or a different, it feels like a different type of sleeve here, a little much thinner sleeve. I don't know what, very strange. So there's that one there. Now I will show you the final card here. I did not know these even existed here. I had to be very careful what I was buying because I don't know what these cards are without seeing it. Um, this is probably about as thin as the relics here, and it's a much thinner card. This is 2012 Olympic Games commemorative stamp. It says first, and this is wheelchair tennis. I didn't know that was a thing here. You have received a 2012 Olympic Games commemorative stamp card from 2012 Topps Trading Cards. So this is actually a stamp from uh, Great Britain there. It's one of they, uh, their uh, first class stamps. I think that's for first class there. And then there's something down here. I think that says 2012 right there. They have encased it in some sort of plastic window. So I think the stamp is actually floating around in there. Don't quote me on that one. These are actually... Um, not super expensive, but a little bit on the harder side to find um, outside of the uh, the stamp uh, uh, out of these cards here. Um, I want to say, like I said, this one was $7 maybe, 7 maybe 8 of the most. 
and these were looking between $12 and $15 on eBay. I want to say maybe $10. There was, I think, a few that were $10 free shipping. But I wanted to do a bunch of combined, and that's why I did a secondary comm seat so close to the previous one. And then I'll show you the back here. These are really cool cards. I'd like to get more of them, but again, sometimes people price these like, you know, like they're like a million dollars. I mean, I'm not the $20 a million dollars or $30 or $40. But, you know, in the big scheme of things is if that's just what you're collecting, you don't want to pay a lot for a stamp that's only worth a couple bucks on the open market without any kind of tops advertising on it. Why do you want to get those? I would kind of like to see if I could find some of those. But every single vendor is overseas. There's not one U.S. vendor with those uh, U.K. first stamps. I'm not sure if they're all first or some of them are second or what they were. Um, you know, you can get them in a sheet form for not very much. And I want to say that these stamps here um, are not, I'm not sure if these are still usable anymore now the UK has changed their, their format anymore. So this is not like a super valuable stamp. So that is neat there. So back to give you the highlights of this thing. I don't know where, where I'm at video wise, what time I'm at. Can't, can't read, can't read. That looks like, uh, well, less than 10 minutes it looks like. We got the stamp card here. That's pretty neat. We got Kerry Jones number to 99. We have the Brady Ellison red and white uh, relic, but tops won't tell me what uh, uh, piece of garment that they chopped up here. There's a piece of Brady Ellison's blue relic there. We have uh, Matt Grievers. I was going to go for the trifecta of Matt Grievers, and I didn't. Um, there's about three or four different colors of Matt Grievers, and they're about a couple bucks on eBay, so I can go back to eBay and get those. Then we have the number to 99 Matt Grievers. Some of those numbered ones are just as cheap as the non-numbered ones. It's really stupid. And then we have a whole bunch of numbered and base with just two Star Wars cards mixed in. So we got, you know, the flag parallels. And I think we ended up with two of those this time. Um, and then we ended up with some silvers and bronzes from my, from my old uh, 2014 set. So those will go on the binder. I'm still, if anybody has any of those, I need those big time. Then we got the Admiral Ozzel on the tops now, and we got a couple cards, for whatever reason, are numbered to 99. So I think I'm going to uh, upload this video pretty soon. It's on the iPhone, so it takes quite a while to get that offloaded. And hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching.